We are interested to know if the mean height of students of dentistry is different from 165 centimeters. نرغب أن نعرف إذا كان متوسط أطوال طلاب طب الأسنان يختلف عن 165 سنتي. It could be more than 165 centimeters or less than 165 centimeters. Different does not mean bigger or smaller, just different. So the alternative hypothesis, the H1, will be the mean X bar is not equal to 165 centimeters. The alternate hypothesis is similar to the research point, to the research question. So the null hypothesis will be that the mean is equal to 165 centimeters. الفرض البديل هو ذلك الفرض المشابه لنقطة التساؤل سيكون أن المتوسط الأطوال لا يساوي 165 يختلف عن 165 سنة. بينما الفرض العدم ال H نوت سيكون المتوسط الحسابي يساوي 165 سم. If you look to the normal distribution curve, this is the mean 165 cm and these areas of rejection, these are the areas of rejection to the left for mean values less than 165 cm and to the right side for the values more than 165 cm. But if the mean values for the dentistry students is around 165 cm, we will not be able to reject the H note. We will be able to reject the H note if we find that the mean height of the dentistry students is much less than 165 centimeters or much more than 165 centimeters. So the alpha here is divided equally between the two tails of the critical region. To the right side, half of alpha, and to the left side, there is half of alpha. If we are interested to know if the mean height of students of medicine is more than 165 centimeters, the story will be different. Here, from the research point, we will write the H1, the alternate hypothesis. So, the X bar, the mean, will be more than 165 centimeters. The null hypothesis will be that the X bar, the mean, will be less than or equal to 165 centimeters. If we look to the alternate hypothesis, this sign of more than, the angle here, this angle of the sign more than, it points to the right. So this is a right one-tailed test. If you look to the angle, to the angle of this sign, you will be able to know if this is one tail or two tail and if it's right or left. Again, to the normal distribution curve, this is the mean, 165 centimeters. We will be able to reject the null hypothesis if the values are significantly more than 165 centimeters.